2 Kings chapter 4, there's a marvelous story of a prophet who goes into a room and there's a dead boy on the bed. And the scripture said that God impressed him to do something. He went and lay on the child, put his mouth on his mouth, his eyes on his eyes, his hands on his hands. Watch this. And he stretched himself out on that child and the flesh of that dead child began to warm. And then the next verse says it again as if to underscore the key to this miracle. He returned, he did it again and stretched himself out. Two times the Bible emphasizes that the key to this miracle, an impossibility became a reality when the man of God stretched. When he stretched, what was given up was given back. What was lost was restored. It is incumbent upon you and I in certain seasons of our walk with God to not be comfortable, but to be stretched, to go for it, to get out there where if God doesn't help us, we absolutely could snap and break and fail. It's not a bad place. I have learned that's where the miracles are waiting. That's where the provision is waiting. That's where things you haven't even thought of are waiting. Opportunities are waiting, not in the comfort zone, but in the stretch. When he stretched out over that child, it covered up the problem. And when we begin to stretch in faith, stretch in praise, stretch in worship, when we begin to stretch the promise of God in our life and make it bigger than the problem that we're facing. You couldn't even see that boy when that big prophet laid over top of him. He covered up the problem with his faith. I'm saying to you today that the word of the Lord, I believe, is what God told uh, or Mary, the mother of Jesus, told the servants when Jesus was ready to make water into wine, John 2 and 5, whatsoever he says to you, do it. Turn to somebody and say, whatever he tells you to do, do it. It'll require the stretch, but you're going to have to stretch for success. Do it. Quit whining about it and do it. Do it. You have to have bravery. You have to have courage to obey God. And you have to stretch. It's rubber band faith. And what happened is the Bible said the boy sneezed seven times and he came back to life. When the prophet stretched, we are at a minimum when we're restful, when we're normal, when we're in a comfortable position. But we're at our maximum when we're stretched and we're believing for God's power to help us. You have not grown an inch when you stretch. You simply maximize what you already have and what you already are. When you move from a restful place, a comfortable place, a normal place, to a position of stretching, I say to the young people here, don't ever turn down opportunity because you feel you're not qualified enough, you're not talented enough, you're not gifted enough. Go on and let that opportunity stretch you. You don't know what you are. You don't know what's in you. You don't know what you're capable of. If you would just allow God to give you rubber band faith that says, I'm most useful when I'm, at, I'm beyond what I'm comfortable doing. Some of you have not fulfilled one of the main purposes of your life because you keep shrinking back from, from a fear and God saying, I want you to stretch. I want you to stretch. That's where God meets us with his supernatural power. I want you to understand that Elisha stretched and a miracle happened. And then the Bible talks about in the story of Moses, God told him to take that staff and he said when the Egyptians were closing in and the Red Sea was before him, he said, stretch out that staff. And when he stretched out that staff, the sea parted. But the miracle was in rubber band faith. Moses had rubber band faith that said, I've got to stretch. This is scary. This is uncomfortable. This is pressure. This is tense. But here I go. I'm going for it. And when he did, God got in that stretch. In Matthew chapter 12 and verse 13, there's the miracle of when Jesus went in the temple and there was a man with a withered hand and Jesus gave this simple command, stretch forth your hand. And when he stretched, 
I'm telling you, the miracle is not in the comfortable place, but he took his, he took his deformed hand and he stretched it. And I want you to understand what that means. God wants to deliver you from what you're ashamed of. God wants to deliver you from what you're embarrassed of. If there's an addiction or bondage in your life, stretch for the help that Jesus has. He's saying, stretch it out. Make it as big as you can make it, and it won't bother me because I'm Jesus, and I can deal with that issue. There's no shame in Jesus Christ. There's no condemnation. There's no backing up because of your past. You hold your head up. We all have things, but by the blood of Jesus Christ, we don't deserve to stand here, but I'm thankful that I've been stretched by the grace of God beyond what I deserve to what I have received through the cross. Y'all are quiet this morning. Somebody shouting in one of our campuses, I guarantee. Stretch. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.